Now let's go to Florida. Ron DeSantis isn't backing away from his fight with Disney. In fact, he's doubling down on the corporate giant after they attempted to squash his oversight of their self-governance powers. He spoke to the media today about his plan to end what he calls a corporate kingdom. Uh, there is a bill uh, that will be put out in the Florida legislature uh, that will make sure that the agreements purported to be entered into by Disney uh, are revoked. We made the decision as a state, as a people, through the medium of our elections, uh, that we would not have one corporation uh, serving as its own government. Uh, that's not good government. Josh, how do you see this fight and could it backfire on Ron DeSantis? No, I don't think it will backfire at, at all, honestly. So Ron DeSantis picked a big fight with the Walt Disney Company about a year ago. It was March to April of last year, 2022. And, you know, it's been a while, so we should probably refresh the audience why he picked this fight in the first place. So the Walt Disney Company became mm. very outspoken against the state of Florida's parental rights and education bill. Now, that bill signed into law would prohibit the teaching of sexual identity, gender identity, sexual orientation themes from kindergarten through third grade. So in a, put another way, in, in the people who opposed this law said that kindergarten teachers, first, second, and third grade teachers should be talking about the birds and the bees and, and, and you know, how Harry can become Sally, that sort of stuff in a classroom. Now, yeah. all Governor DeSantis <laughs> and all the state of Florida did to go back to last April they removed extra legal tax benefits that the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which is in central Florida, that's where the Walt Disney Company is located. They have had extra legal tax benefits since that district was founded way back in 1967. So he really kind of just made Walt Disney on an even playing field with every other company in the state of Florida. They were treated very unequally. They had massive corporate welfare. So Florida is going to win this fight. The way that Disney also tried to kind of escape this at the very last minute, going back to February of this year, a couple months ago, was probably also illegal under you know, contract law 101, the development agreement mm. they entered into did not have consideration. So there's going to be a, a, a major lawsuit here. I think Florida will prevail. If Florida is emphatically correct on the politics as well, this is a winning issue for Ron DeSantis.